Fruit Lager is really exciting for us this year. It's our biggest innovation to date, and Fruit Lager is the first of a whole host of activation ideas for this summer. So we've got an above the line campaign live for Fruit Lager at the moment, but we wanted to add something special for consumers through this anamorphic street art to really celebrate the launch of Copperberg Fruit Lager and let consumers trial the products and have an immersive street art experience at the same time because fruit lager is very different for Copperberg. We're very closely associated with cider and fruit cider. So with fruit lager being so new, we wanted to do something for consumers that also challenges the familiar to them and challenges their perspective on what they're seeing, just like fruit lager is doing for Copperberg in the market. For Copperberg, music has always been really important to us. We've always been about a lot of underground, upcoming artists. And that's always been a passion point, but you know, street art is another passion point of ours. And as Copperberg, we've always done things quite differently as a brand. We're still independently owned, which is quite rare within the industry, to be honest. A lot of companies are now in big, big brewers or big corporate companies. So we like to do things differently, and music and art will always be really central to a lot of our activation. And we know it's really appealing and resonates with our target market, and we want them to get involved. Well, from an experiential perspective, it can be in various ways to how we look at success. So it can be from footfall, it can be from a trial of the new product, but a lot of the stuff as well through engagement is really through our social and digital content. We've been using social media a lot to build up to events like this, and we will be with the Urban Forest. But then, you know, we really push for user-generated content while live at the event but then making sure we can create content that can be seeded afterwards and make the events live even longer with our target market. The Urban Forest has been live for two years. So in, in 2014 and 2015, we did our own five-week festival in East London, which was very, very successful. We really loved it. Very exciting consumers really got on board with it. So for 2016, we wanted to take it to another level. So we're actually taking the Urban Forest on tour across festivals around the UK, including Lovebox, Citadel, Wildlife, Secret Garden Party and Fusion. And there we'll have the same great bar and a stage that we'll be programming ourselves with a lot of great upcoming acts for consumers to discover. We've had so much success with the Urban Forest and we've had a lot of engagement, but it's been limited to London. So we wanted more people to be able to get involved uh, and see what we're doing and be able to experience the magic of the urban forest around the UK. So what's going on here today? So I'm thrilled to launch Open Door. It's the first immersive retail experience we've ever had, not on the highstreet.com. We called it Open Door because we're really opening the doors on what is a fabulous and exciting British business. And it's part of celebrating our 10th birthday.